What's up beautiful people, this is Indarama, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be checking this video and it's titled Michael Noel suggests to OnlyFans girl to stop their work if they want a husband. Interesting, so it's no news about Michael Noel's being on the Word of a Podcast. So yeah, I'm excited to hear what they've got to say on this one. Let's check it out. No guy that I've ever hooked up with for like a one night stand has ever made me come. Like point blank period. I'm sorry. Like, I don't know if I've just got unlucky yeah, as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> but I've never had a good one night stand. How many stand one night real. stands have you I had? More than I can count on my 10 fingers and that's where I'm gonna. So then wouldn't it be to, like you were saying I don't want to get married yet. I don't want to do this. But if you were married, you would not have had the bad experience with the fireman. You'd presumably pick a guy who you know gets the job done, and then you'd have all these great nights and not this sati this this sh short you know brief self satisfaction, if even that. So oh. why are you trying to push marriage on me oh, so bad? Because it's good and it's the natural <laughs> end of sex. What's wrong what? with finding yourself? So that's what marriage. like sex is for. The natural end of sex. Yeah, it's oh. like what sex is geared oh, toward. It's not supposed to be with like you and Brian's weird contraption upstairs and it's not what? supposed to be I'm with like you crying. alone and a contraption. Are you going to show us after, Brian? Brian? Yeah. What's what, what contraption? I have no idea what Michael's huh? what? I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. Yeah, yeah, I'm intrigued. Yeah, I wasn't supposed to mention it. Oh. How What's did, wrong with what? a woman not actively looking for a husband though and just Wait, living her life for her? Wait, how Then she should just... He said, how do we You're talking about being all freaky and tying girls up and shit, Brian? should not have like these one night stands that they admit are disappointing in themselves. But why not? If it's something that's fun and... Like, not everyone finds it fun though. Like she said, that and the amount of one night stand she had. Like, and, she yeah, well, I would, in my it's opinion, not your I would just rather and fuck someone who like knows my body and knows how to make valid. me come. Yeah, which like, is so valid. Like yeah. why makes everything why, else. Yeah, like, and is so that good the reason honestly, why you've had more than ten one night stands? Mm. Oh. Everybody has fun sometimes. Okay, look. So. <laughs> well, but you but just said it just it is a bit contradictory. No, and I get it. I'm just not a perfect person. Like I started having sex when I was a young age. Like I was sort too young to be really. having sex, and that's that's what it came down to. Like, and they're not She's all bad. Well, that's, that's not all bad. One. Yeah. That's never happened to me before. That's actually another perfect argument for why women, especially, should not engage in hookup culture because I think men's orgasm response is fairly typical. It's fairly easy, at least for men, to to achieve that. Whereas women often complain that. Heck, even with regular partners, sometimes they don't even climax. So that's an even stronger argument for why women should not be so willing to engage in casual mm -hmm. sex or one night stands or hookup you culture. Know. Because you're not even, you, it, it's, it's a, not even it's a, fun. It's, it's a enjoyable. transitory <laughs> casual sexual encounter, but you're not even climaxing. Now, granted, I, even within the confines of a relationship, even if you don't climax, I hope, hopefully you do, but I think sex can still be enjoyable. I think we can all agree, even if you don't always. Hopefully most of the time you do, but sometimes you don't, and I think it can still be a bonding experience, and you can still, it's still phys physically uh, pleasurable and enjoyable. So. so did you just contradict yourself? What do you mean? By that. saying that, <laughs> I'm I, sorry, you just circled all the way back. What I, to what? You said girls shouldn't be engaging in hookup culture, but then you're like, but even no. if you don't come, you should enjoy well, the experience. Yeah, I, I mean, that was more of a caveat, but like, you know, it's it's more often the case that in a casual encounter, the woman is less likely to climax than the man. So it's a very strong argument. She needs to just speak up. What's that? What? You what? can still have well, fun yeah. though. Like yeah, you just said. She just needs um, to like talk you through it. It can, I'm sorry that that's been your experience, but like. Wait, here's a question for the for the ladies at the table. Who believes who? who actually, which one do I want to ask first? Let me even pause it here first because. You see this this thing, this one coming out to say yeah. the men she uh, one night stand, she's had or whatever did not make her to come or to, um, come, or to go. What did she call it? One night stand. But of course, these women would give any and everything because feminists have sold a lie, or modern day feminists have sold a lie to these women that hookup culture is some kind of empowering scheme or empowerment scheme so they, these women have to participate in it as long as they are gonna be um doing the exact same thing men do or whatnot and she's out here saying she's had sex or uh, right from a very small young age and you see the problem most of these women they don't even know what this does to them but of, of course they want to be adults quickly so they participate in this act and coming out to complain and talk about this some people think that having a relationship or being married to your partner you just have to be sexual 
but they are not even understanding that there are other things aside sex that builds a relationship or commitment it's safe to say and to understand where most of these women place their priority on because some people to them relationship has to be all about sex it's just crazy sex and money it's crazy i mean kudos to modern day feminists for pushing this agenda but yeah let's go on um have you going around the table have you ever faked an orgasm i have you have definitely in sex specifically why is this one looking at the as opposed to what? At, well i mean like buffet? we're content creators like, lunch, lunch time, like yeah. we're content <laughs> creators no 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 like with a, a like not, real not, like real life sex no, not I, making yeah it not, not content no okay so. yes oh hold on just a regretful ho donated regretful. 200 dollars <laughs> of girls Will your confidence diminish with age or when you oh. stop BC? You're conditioning yourself now that to oh. think confidence slash self-worth is determined by SXX, dollar, body beauty. What will be left of you? Mm. I like how oh. their, their username, username is regretful, regretful ho. <laughs> <laughs> They're warning us. <laughs> regretful ho. <laughs> Do you guys have a... I have more right. to offer than just my hot body. So I think when I'm old, I'll be fine. And happy with myself but, but isn't the point that a lot of people have said well part of the reason i've enjoyed doing porn and only fans is because it gives me confidence but of course the confidence is just the adulation of these creepy dudes and money mm -hmm. so those will go away over time as the commenter says and then if you if you ground your self-worth and your sense of value on those things well, you're gonna be out of luck isn't that my husband's job then when i do decide to quinn settle down to make me feel hot even my old age right so <laughs> Oh, That's what I, I think the comment Butler donated $200. <laughs> Brixon, are oh. you aware one oh. in three women aged 16 to 30 have a STD now? The mm. panel of play grats you've gathered this evening <laughs> are <laughs> specimens play of disease. <laughs> That's I'm going to be sick. Hashtag you all have herpes. Hashtag <laughs> filthy. I, I should tell you there's a bit of lore. So Jay Butler, every single show for the past four or five months, every show, wow. he always mentions did he mention herpes yeah, yeah. in the he hashtag, hashtag he always, you all have herpes play he grass. always he is a play urologist grass. he's a urologist and mm, he just day in day out grid one motorsports he's, donated 200 dollars oh thank the you, best man. thing about casual sex is the men care even less about you than you do about yourselves mm -hmm. dot they never wake up at 30 oh. unmarried childless and wonder why theater dating value is so low Mm-hmm. Oh. Truth yeah. thought you did something Thank there. Yes. 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 Oh, just, okay. to, just to finish off on this thread, uh, <laughs> have you ever faked an O? An O? Um, no. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, question. You didn't ask me. Oh. <laughs> sure. yeah. All the time. All the, I mean, during, at breakfast. No. On my flight, actually. Nice. They all, yeah, they had to. <laughs> Don't the disrespect your wife. Wait, like, yeah, it's crazy. You? Like with any of the other. I prefer not to disclose details oh. of my sexual life. Okay. Uh, Respectable. Wait. So, question. Wait. Show of hands. Who who has again? Okay. Don't you guys think communication is really important mm -hmm. in a relationship? And is I, a frequent complaint I hear from women is is that men are these awful communicators. Men are terrible at communicating. But wouldn't faking that so you're be saying that once you terrible hook communication hmm. if you only know the guy for like a day or so like mm -hmm. yeah. you think it's appropriate to just text him like oh you didn't like i faked orgasm or something like what you said communication you want us to tell them that in we, the moment in the moment oh, i feel like it's awkward though for you me just gotta quote that one kanye song you know like back in the day you have some like fake orgasms and shit, but now you can tell them, I want to come. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel like at That's the time funny. that I faked orgasms, I was 17 and yeah. not as confident and I didn't possess the communication skills I have now. So probably. I think when I faked an orgasm is because I just wanted it fucking over with. Yeah. I was yeah. over it. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I need this to be like, done. Yeah. I was like, move on. So this is literally, this needs to be done. That's that That's was the my reason. Of work. I was uh, yeah, I like, like seriously. Future, I was over it. You can <laughs> tell a guy, hey, yeah. I'm not feeling this. Like, I want to go. No, but like, and I have had guys like not respect that and be like, I'm like, I'm like, 
I'm like, okay, like, sorry. I'm like, we're men having sex. It's not good. I'm like, okay, this like, kind of, we kind of need to wrap this up. And they're like, okay, well, I'm not done yet. So it's Ew. that's for me. That's Ew. where I'm like, I press the I'm, SOS I'm faking, on my I'm iPhone. faking this is over. This needs to be done. Like I'm trying to run. Oh, no. That was me also at a young age when I didn't know how to communicate. Like I'm done and I'm walking out. When I hit a certain point, I was like, okay, I'm done and I could speak up for myself. But before, that was how it was. Wait. So how frequently did you want to or would you mid coitus? Coitus, <laughs> sexual intercourse, just get, get up and walk away. <laughs> oh, and multiple leave. times. Really? Yes, I was done. I was out of there and I done, said, I gotta go. Done what, how, why? Because they were giving me the ick. Yeah, totally. They Wait, were during, now. and you determined they were this. Icky. They were totally icky. So, you know, if this is happening multiple times, it is like a pattern, you know, then wouldn't that suggest to you, like, huh? Maybe this group of guys or this kind of no, situation, sure. we should like avoid that. I feel like this is all speaking of like in years ago too. Like I recent as of recently, I very specific about who I have sex with and who I have those kind of interactions with. So I wouldn't say it's recent, but But when it comes to the ick, isn't that isn't that something that you could have no, it's like the facial out. expressions during exactly. sex really gross me out. Some people, <laughs> like, seriously, like, if you look at me in some weird way, like, Here. I'm done. Like, I will not come. I will, no. I pretend I'm you and pretend you're the icky dude. The, I, let's let's do a role play role here. Play? Show me the, 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 the face. I'm, that, not, I'm not I'm not making the face. I'm not making the face. I can't was it like the rock the eyebrow face. raise? <laughs> like, next show? Oh, it's like that. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. That. I'm like, wow. Ooh. Okay. They get too confident with it. They're like, <laughs> like ooh. and I'm like, ooh. So do you want a guy who's like, looks like he's almost, he's almost like very aloof with it, and he's totally, <laughs> no, he's it's actually like not we're enjoying both it, into it at all. We're both That's into my it, go-to. Like... It's just the aloof. <laughs> I'm almost disgusted. You know, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> That's what you'd prefer. No, I just like it, you object to men being it, into it. Oh. <laughs> Just like certain, like certain facial expressions from certain people who I've never seen other than having sex with them. Like those facial expressions have never popped out before. Mm. And then we have sex and you want to bring up a whole new face. And, I'm like, and so wait, you'll leave. I'm like, wait, so I gotta, go. I gotta go. Yeah. Wait, now. so you will, you will literally <laughs> stop. Like, I'm like, babe, like this is not working. Like I'm going to go finish in the other, the other room. You can take yourself out you know where the front door is you have your car and oh, drive home oh no, no he's a brave and decent man he's a pioneer um oh, no. <laughs> she has good communication nah. i'm not lying Barely. anymore at least i'm not faking an orgasm anymore really good communication yeah. Yeah. and everyone has their icks to be fair like that's your specific ick. like ew <laughs> yeah, good talk i agree it is icky good that's talk. very it sounds very icky this just tells you where many of these modern women are at at this point because they don't see a problem. I mean, feminist, modern day feminists told a lie or told women to do what men can do, have multiple partners, don't care about um, um, yourself or your body, just um, go out on a date and have a one night stand i mean the more one night stand you have or the more multiple partner you have you get an empowerment scheme you feel confident about yourself it is crazy and then they'll come out here and wonder why no man is checking them out so after um some years down and yet yet you want they'll come out here to say oh their past shouldn't matter why would your past no matter? You just get the way they talk and all of that and say poor communication skill. It's obvious because, I mean, they are not used to having a relationship. They are used to having a one-night stand or used to doing whatever they want to do with whoever they want to do without the consequences or without anything. And truthfully, most of these people don't even think of the consequences or like disease or whatever. I, I mean what are we even saying it is their business and it is what they do for a living but it's a fact that many people believe the idea that having multiple body multiple partner or high body count is somewhat an empowerment scheme and 
women are buying into that or modern women are buying into that that is crazy this was interesting at the same time to hear this great group of women's point of view and what they think and i really love your honest contribution to this you can share all the useful information you think might be really helpful make sure to like comment and subscribe and all of that stuff and until next time see you in the next video